Hi, Matt is back and tonight I'm going to make a moonlight tour. I will drive with the dogs out to the tippy and there I will leave some firewood. Um, no more to say. Let's roll the intro. Ciao! We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For a living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. Hi guys, Matt is back again and tonight I'm going on the moonshine tour. It's actually full moon. It's so beautiful out there. So now I have firewood with me. I have 40 kilo dog food in the sled for uh, to make it a little bit more heavy for the dogs so they get training. And I have a bag with camera equipment and I have a bag with tea and coffee equipment. Now we just need some dogs. Wow, this is totally magic. It's full moon and I can see the dark uh, areas on the moon and uh, it's shadows from the dog team and it's shadows from the trees uh, and the dog are doing a fine, very good work. Wow, 11 dogs and they are super, super powerful and it's perfect snow condition and I think this is a kind of nirvana for a dog musher. Definitely nirvana. But right now I had a like a rainbow ring, something like around the moon. And uh, usually when you get that like a hollow around the moon, you will get snow or clouds during the next 24 to 48 hours. I will continue. Yeah, yeah.
Now I'm in the tippy and I have unloaded some firewood here. And the dog is resting outside. I have two of the young ones with me. It is Gus and Gandalf. They are still... Um, they were very eager to start and they had some problems with the stop command during the tour. Now they settle down out here and uh, they behaving fine. Um, I'm happy with that. They develop during the season. I have uh, I have put a pot with tea water on the fire and now I'm waiting for the tea to boil. It's easy to forget. You make things when you're working like this. You you make things like this for customers all the time. But uh, it's very important to not forget to make tours and experience like this just for yourself too. Don't forget yourself. For me this moments when I'm out alone is very important. But I really love to meet people too. Uh, people from all over the world. It's so interesting. But this moment when you're sitting alone around the fire and having tea, thinking about things, running the dogs, talking with the dogs, filming a little bit, to do things, that's, that's super nice. It's time to prepare the dogs and take off. What I've done here is I have brought more firewood to the tippy and prepare it for the upcoming shorter tours. Uh, I've cleaned up a little bit and uh, yeah, maintain this tippy a little bit. But now the wind is picking up a little, little more and uh, um, I will have a nice ride back home to the kennel, hopefully. <laughs> it's just five, six, seven kilometers back depends on which trail I take. Back home it's time for cleaning up the kennel another time today and it's time for feeding the dogs and then after that it's time for dinner for me. I will be at the dinner table something like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock after midnight but uh, this magic Mid this magic moonlight tours are so incredible nice so I will happily uh, skip out some hour of sleep this upcoming night but now let's go home see you next time ciao This is magic! The dogs are incredible and the shadows are so sharp and it's full moon and uh, it's super super nice! I love this! 